Okay, so today to deepen with your kids and play with them a little bit, we're going to play this game, Can You Do What I Can Do? So it's not quite follow the leader. It's got a little bit more of a challenge to it where you're like intentionally putting somebody in a place that's outside of their typical comfort zone because you're like doing something or picking something that's a little bit hard to do. You're doing it like, yeah, is this going to be hard for you? Like, can you do it? Can you try it? Um, and that's part of it. That's part of what's interesting in this game is taking each other out of your comfort zones. Um, but there can be another aspect. There can be a negotiation aspect too, okay? Because we want to keep it like doable and safe for everybody. Um, and it can be a negotiation aspect too. That'll be really helpful in our deepening of our connection too. Like, you know, can you do this? Like, no, uh, how about I try this instead? No, that's too boring or too lame. You got to try this. How about this instead? And you guys can go back and forth. Um, and up the price, you know, to get it agreed upon of like what the level of, you know, challenge is that you're actually willing to do. Um, and yeah, this already is just like playful and taking us out of our comfort zone. We're doing it both ways, of course. You know, we're doing it to our kids. Can you do what I can do? And they're doing it to us. And, you know, I think a lot of times, um, the kids don't get to push parents outside of their comfort zone. So this may be extra fun or extra new in that direction. You know, we generally push them outside of theirs, but they don't necessarily get to push us outside of um, ours. So yeah, that could be really cool. It also brings in this element of how competition, mild competition, um, you know, competition can be good, can, you know, in a certain way. A lot of times competition is not, it can get out of hand very fast. Um, but in these small ways with your family, with someone that is really close with you, with someone that you love in the spirit of playing and playfulness, um, in these small inconsequential ways, we can compete and push each other and like, can you do what I can do? And there's this small competitive edge to that that can be really beneficial. So this kind of demonstrates that. I love that how this demonstrates that um, because it's like pushing another person. I mean, other people are in your life for that element of challenge and one-upping you too, like stepping you up a level, you know? Cause like, can you do this? Okay, now how about this, you know? And it sort of brings you to a different level of challenge because you're trying to keep up or you're trying to see if you can do what they did. Um, so it brings that in and that's like a way that this is kind of, you know, deepening our connection. It's giving us this safe and fun way to level each other up and to challenge each other in a playful environment. Um, and like I said, the kids are going to love challenging you because they don't often get to, but you as a parent have to accept the challenge too. Okay. You can't cheat and go direct to the negotiation, you know, bailout strategy. Um, you've got to really try to, I mean, I've seen so many parents or heard so many parents just like immediately write stuff off. Like, you know, Hey mom, look at this. Can you do this? Like, no, I'd kill myself. If I tried that, I'd break my legs. And they just kind of down talk themselves themselves and you know give a bunch of insults to themselves about how old they are and how they can't even touch their toes anymore or whatever and it's kind of sad to hear because they didn't even try they just showed their kid that they are not even willing to try and already have like excuses for why it's never going to happen you know it's just i don't know plus like why not try it was meant in the spirit of playfulness the kid is playing like play too you know and the negotiation element is still there as a fallback. And it's an important fallback too, um, because negotiation is needed. What a valuable skill in all of life, you know? Um, yeah, if they're like, hey, can you do this? Like, you pick something else. Like, no, but I could do this, you know, and throw out something just as juicy. Like, but I could do this. And then if they don't find it juicy enough for the challenge that they've offered, they'll say like, no, 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 this instead, you know? And you guys are going to come up with a place where you can both, you know, find it interesting. Like, yeah, okay, that's outside of your comfort zone enough. I'm satisfied. Do it, you know, and then you go for it. And like I said, really the, the important stuff here is that we're going out of the comfort zone and we're using each other as a means to do so, as a means to have fun 
while doing so and as a source of creativity for doing so because they're the ones that are saying, will you come out of your comfort zone here this way? How about that way? How about this way? You know, so um, it's a beautiful thing that we do for each other when we're in close connection with each other Um, and calling awareness to it and playing in it. Uh, is definitely a way to deepen that connection and that bond even more and to find new things that you want in your connection, new things that you love about your connection, new ways to appreciate your connection. So, hope you guys like it.